the family of a man accidentally shot by police at a subway station in Brownsville is calling for an independent investigation into the actions of two NYPD officers that led to two civilians and an officer's partner shot, as well as the suspect. Natalie Dedridge is at Kings County Hospital, where one of the innocent bystanders is still recovering. Natalie. Cindy, good afternoon. Well, a cousin tells us that man, 49-year-old Gregory Del Pache, who was shot accidentally in the head by police, is still in critical condition. His family says he underwent surgery, but is still fighting for his life here. And we have a photo of Del Pache. His family says he was just simply on his way to work Sunday afternoon, sitting on a subway car at the Sutter Avenue L train station, where he was struck by a stray bullet fired by police. Authorities say this this all happened when two NYPD officers tried to stop 38-year-old Daryl Mickles for jumping a subway turnstile. They say he ignored their commands and pulled out a knife moving towards them. Police say their tasers were ineffective, so they pulled out their guns. Officers fired nine rounds. Those bullets struck multiple people, including the suspect in the abdomen, one of the officers in the armpit, and two civilians, including a 26-year-old woman who was struck in the buttocks as well. A bullet hit 49-year-old Del Pesh, who remains here in intensive care at Kings County Hospital. Here's what his cousin and family had to say. Gregory Del Pesh is my cousin. He keeps to himself, quiet, and he was hardworking. Uh, he's been with the um, Woodhall Hospital for 20 years. So he was on his way to work, and there's no reason why he should not make it to work. All right? I, be I believe that the NYPD was reckless. This unnecessary tragedy could have been avoided had they employed proper de-escalation measures. We are here to ask for a full investigation. We are here to ask that the NYPD and the interim commissioner release the body camera footage. The family's attorney says the police response sparked outrage leading to demonstrations at the Sutter Avenue subway station where 18 people were arrested last night. Meanwhile, Mickles, the man who police were trying to stop, faces several charges including attempted assault and criminal possession of a weapon. He also remains in the hospital. Now, as for that 26-year-old woman and the police officer shot, they were released from the hospital and Gregory Del Pesh's family continues to pray for for his recovery. We're live in Brooklyn, Natalie Dudridge, CBS News, New York. Natalie, thank you.